Let's check out how to make our first Agent Hub automation. So I'm going to start with something I've pre-built just to show you how things work. Agent Hub automations are composed of these nodes that you drag onto a canvas. The output of one node feeds into the input of another, and then you're able to construct these sort of AI-powered workflows or these uh, AI flowcharts. Um, so let's take a look at what this automation is actually doing. It is scraping a website using this advanced website scraper. I was able to type in the URL I wanted to scrape uh, right here. I would be able to also pass it in from another node, but for right now, I'm just defining it in line. The output of this node will be all of the content of a website. So I'm passing that website content into the context of the AI node. The Ask AI node is, is one of our most basic, basic nodes and our most popular ones. It is basically just like asking GPT a question, asking chat GPT a question. So I'm able to pick the model I want from this drop down here, and I'm able to specify the prompt. So right here I'm saying, write me a one liner about this company. I could add more detail, give it examples, uh, whatever I want really, but it's armed with the content of the website we scraped as context. So it'll, it'll know that you're asking it to create a one liner about this company, which is Agent Hub in this case. The output of that is the response from the AI and I'm sending that into an email notification node. So this is just sending myself an email with a subject uh, summary of company and the content will be whatever the AI generates. Now our workflow is built, I can hit run and it is scraping the website, asking the AI a question about it and emailing. Uh, obviously this is quite a simple workflow but it, it does follow the general pattern that all Agent Hub workflows follow. So my phone just buzzed and I have the email in my inbox. The AI said, Agent Hub empowers businesses to automate their workflows through AI using a user-friendly drag and drop interface, no coding skills required. This is spot on. And it got that from scraping agenthub.dev, um, not this site, but our landing page specifically. Okay, as I was mentioning, all Agent Hub automations kind of follow the same pattern. You're generally reading data from somewhere, manipulating it, normally with AI, and then outputting it as well. That's the, the general pattern they follow, but they get much more complex. So for a final part of this initial video, let's modify this automation to perform another step, just to show you how we can tweak things or expand on this automation. So now that it's scraping the content of the website, let's say I want to extract some piece of key information from that website. I'll drag this extract single item node and I'll drag the output of the website scraper also into this node. Um, what do I want to extract from the website? Let's say I just want it to extract the company name so I'm instructing the AI that I want it to extract the name of the company nothing else. It'll really just return that company name here without like a, okay, here's your company name or whatever fluff the LLM normally pairs with the answer. And I also want it to return their tagline, the tagline of the company. So now it's returning company name and tagline, as you can see here. So I have three values. And I want to combine these values into one concise email. In this case, I'll use some of our data modifiers. So these are nodes that don't use any AI. They're not using any fancy integrations or third parties. It, it, they're really just nodes to help you manipulate your data. So I'll use our most common one by far, the combined text node. This lets you just format outputs for, for uh, however you need in your automation. So I, I want to take the response from the one liner and drag it into input one. I want to take the company name and drag it into input two. And I also want a third input. So I'll add one and I'll drag the tagline. 
Now, this is a kind of overkill in terms of summarizing what a company does, but for the sake of this demo, it'll work. And I'll say company uh, one liner, and then input one here, I can pass in into the formatting node by just specifying input one with curly braces. Now this is going to get replaced with whatever this value is. And I'll say company name input two. And then as the last one, I'll say tagline input three. Now all of our data is in one piece of text and I'm going to pass that into the email node. So now I'm going to, going to get an email with the company one liner, the company name and the tagline all formatted into this nice email body. And our automation has got a little more complex. Obviously this is still on the super simple side and a bit contrived of an example, but I'm going to hit run and it's running this node and then it'll run these two because they come next. Then it'll format the output and send me that email. Email sent, phone has just buzzed. This is what the output looks like. Company one liner is what we saw before. Company name is agent hub and company tagline is AI automation framework. So yeah, that is how you modify an automation. And now that I've made the modifications, I'm gonna press save. You can also press control save if you want to do that as well. And we've saved it under in our workspace for later, uh, later use. In the following tutorials, I'll show you how to make things much more complex and powerful, but I think this is a good start. See you in the next video.